She's today's conversation curator. From Hill Holiday, here's Kelsey Chickering. Good afternoon. So I want to start by just thanking a team that we have uh, actually right behind that screen there. Uh, this is our back channel team, and they've been working hard all day sorting through your tweets and curating them and reading through them as well as switching these screens back and forth. So kudos to them. Also, thank you to Wei in for powering our, uh, our back channel screens and display. It's been an awesome tool to work with. So I want to go through a few trends that we're seeing today. First one being, we're trending. So thank you, all of you, for, uh, for tweeting all day and for really engaging in the conversation. It's been great, and it's awesome to see that we're trending in Boston. So keep it up. Also, the females are winning out today. Thank God. Hopefully this happens tomorrow. Um, <laughs> mostly women have been tweeting all day, 63% women, 37% uh, men. So we'll see how that changes in the afternoon. So we started off with Karen's uh, talk a lot about avoidance, and I think one of the main points that resonated with everyone was around curation and how creation really equals relevancy and how important it is for us as brands to be curating these experiences for, for our consumers and our customers. And then as we moved into Shar's talk, uh, a lot of tweeting erupted, a lot of it around the three uh, pieces of advice that she gave us. One, be human, two, be helpful, and three, be handy in this post-digital world as we, as we act as marketers. Um, in this world. And the other quote that really resonated during her talk really had to do with how we, how we act. So to really implement those three different points, what you do speaks so loudly that I cannot hear what you say. So thinking about that intent and working toward that was something that everyone was really tweeting about and talking about. So as we, as we shifted gears um, and started to talk about, again, how we, how we implement this, it's important to think about emotions. So investing in the understanding of our emotions um, is even more important uh, because they're, they're usually irrational. Rational. So I love this tweet here, invest in the understanding of your emotions of your customers. 95% of those, those decisions are irrational ones. Don't tell my husband. I won't tell him, but I'm pretty sure most of our significant others already know that that's, that's true. <laughs> Um, and as we moved into the customer experience segment with, uh, with Jamie, intent, again, became a, became a trend. So thinking about how we purposefully create these experiences, we can't just start with the tool, but we need to start with the intent of what we're trying to make. And again, this came up in our virtual reality segment. So not only is the intent about what we want to create, but we need to think about our user's intent. What do they want to do? And when it comes to content, it seems that they are willing to engage. Their intent is to engage as long as what, we, what we're creating has a few key, co key, key qualities. The first being engaging, the second being exclusive, and the third being authentic. So a lot of you were talking around the importance of authenticity and how in order to deliver value, we need to deliver it through authenticity, personality, and data. Finally, not finally, but one of our most exciting segments, uh, I think, today was, was Mike's segment on drones. Everyone was really exciting, and the tweeting really picked up at this time. Um, and he started off with a really provocative question to our panelists, why should you care about drones? And one of our panelists so aptly answered, because your audience cares about them. Again, it's coming back to what do our consumers care about? What are they thinking about? What is their intent? And how are we delivering on it? And I know that you know it grabbed my attention, and Karen also tweeted this, drones officially have caught everyone's attention. And that was certainly apparent on the back channel. And I think as we move towards 2020, it'll probably be apparent there as well. I was personally very excited about the podcast segment because I'm addicted to podcasts. I listen to a lot of them. And many of you who know me, I usually start off a sentence with, this podcast I was listening to, I learned this thing. <laughs> so I was excited to hear that um, I'm not the only one, and it's becoming mainstream for consumers, and also a mainstream mainstream opportunity for, for market, marketers as well. So certainly excited to be hopefully working on those types of projects. Finally, I wanted to end this with um, a point that Tracy Brady made that I think really sums up the whole morning. Customers don't give a bleep about the complexities of your business. Give them the experience they need, deserve, and expect. As marketers, we can all work toward that together. 
Uh, so again, thank you everyone for who's been tweeting this morning. Please keep it up using hashtag media forward. We'll be back in the afternoon to, uh, to talk about the other things that we have uh, that we'll see this afternoon. So very exciting stuff. Before I let you go to lunch though, I just want to um, first make a point about some of our sponsors who so want to say thank you to our tech sponsors who you'll be able to see down in the, uh, the lobby set up around lunch. They'll have, uh, so a Acquia, Alfonso, and TVTY. Why? Well, I'll have demos set up for you to check out, so please check them out. And then also, thank you to the Weather Channel for sponsoring our charging station. So if your phones are starting to die, you'll also be able to find those downstairs as well. So enjoy lunch, and we'll see you this afternoon.